I'm Andrew Grill, I'm a partner in Global Business Solutions in IBM. I'm based in London and I'm brand new to IBM. So I've been in about four months now. I've come in from industry. I used to be CEO of Cred, and Cred competes with Clout, uh, an influencer me a measurement tool. But I've been using social and been online for a number of years. I've actually been uh, online since 1983, back when there were bulletin boards and dial-up modems. I've been on LinkedIn for 10 years. I've been on Twitter for seven years. I've been blogging for 10 years with 658 blog posts. One of the things I say a lot of is that to really get social, you need to be social. And so what I'd like to be is a standout example of an executive at IBM who keeps blogging and tweeting even when we have a big, busy workload, but also help coach other executives for his success. Because only by being really social and actually understanding how social works, how the mechanism uh, can work for clients and customers, can you understand the power of social. My social story is around one tweet, 15th of January 2011. I landed in San Francisco and I tweeted simply, land in San Francisco. That one tweet is why I'm standing here in um, Orlando, Florida at the Connect 2014 conference because what happened after that tweet was another Australian who follows me said, look, we've never met, let's have lunch together in San Francisco. We had lunch, he introduced me to the then founder of Cred who employed me and then two years later IBM came along and said, we'd love you to come and join our company. So the reason I'm here is because of one tweet. When I tell that story either internally to other uh, partners, execs and, and IBMers or to, to our clients. They say, wow, that's amazing. I've never really understood the business value of this whole Twitter thing. People often say, you tweet a lot, Andrew. You're tweeting all the time. Well, in between meetings or on the train when I've got some downtime, I update my Twitter status, see what I'm doing, where I'm at. It's that one tweet moment of I've landed somewhere, I'm at a conference that can actually make all the difference. But I think why you need to understand social is to understand the language. So. If you're out there watching this and you're not sure how to get started, follow me. I'm at Andrew Grill, A-N-D-R-E-W-G-R-I-L-L -L on Twitter. Occasionally I say interesting stuff. You can see who else I'm following, who I'm talking about, and you can start to grow your network. The first hundred followers is the hardest. Beyond there, it gets a lot easier because you start engaging, you understand how Twitter works, you understand how social works, and you can then become very successful. So my kind of quick three tip tips would be, first of all, get on Twitter. Two reasons. One, brand protection. Unless your name is John Smith, there's a high probability you can get a variation of your name. I was very lucky in 2007 to grab at Andrew Grill. Secondly, unless you're on social, you don't know how it works. You don't know the language that's used, the terminology and all those sort of things. Also, you can use social as the world's best research tool. I often say that social media is the best piece of market research you never commission. Follow people in your industry, follow other IBMers, see what they're talking about. You might learn something. So to get social, you've got to be social.